Welcome to the session on active listening. Listening is an important component in communication process inside or outside of classroom. Do you think there is difference between hearing and listening? Hearing is simply the act of perceiving sound by the ears. If you are not hearing impaired, hearing simply happens. Hearing is transfer of electrochemical impulses to brain. However, listening is our conscious choice. Listening requires concentration and listening leads to learning. But we do not listen actively and fully all the time. In nutshell, we suffer from suboptimal listening. What are the reasons for suboptimal listening? First is pseudo listening, acting like you are listening when your mind is elsewhere. That is first type of the problem which result in suboptimal listening. We just act as if we are listening, but in actuality we might not. Second challenge in suboptimal listening is self centeredness. It means we might be listening to the other person, but we are rehearsing what you will say while a speaker is speaking. Your response while listening instead of just listening. In the selective listening, we only focus on those part of message that are of particular interest or immediate relevance to us, whether this portion or whether this part is related to examination, whether this is this will help me to get better marks or is it going to help me in the placement. If students are thinking too much about these lines, then they might suffer from the selective listening. They will listen only those things which address their immediate concerns related to marks or placement. And if this tendency is heightened, then they may miss out on the overall knowledge which is imparted in the classroom. Another challenge in terms of suboptimal listening is fill in. Many time we listen some concept, some part we understand and some part we do not understand. Suboptimal listening happens when gaps left in understanding by selective listening are filled by what we expect to hear. Gaps in the learning, gaps in understanding, when filled with our own half baked incorrect understandings or stories is called fill in problem of suboptimal listening. Another challenge in listening is being defensive, that is, focus on ideas not even there and interpret as personal attacks when they are not intended that way. This is particularly important and relevant when we are too attached to some concept, some problems or some aspect of our identity. When we are too sensitive about certain aspect, at times we hear those things even when they are not heard and then we interpret the whole message from that angle about which we are very sensitive, that is defensive. Last but not the least, the reason behind the suboptimal listening is insulation or being insulated, that is choose not to listen to what we do not want to hear. We just at times switch off and choose not to listen at all and that result in the complete blockage of the message from the giver. But we must understand that listening is a critical method of getting feedback and feedback is an important characteristic of living system. Someone said that feedback is breakfast of champion. Active listening is a starting of dialogue. What is dialogue? Dialogue is verbal and non-verbal exchange of world views. What is the outcome of dialogue? Mine and yours, both of our world views get transformed when we engage in a dialogue. If it is so important, why we do not indulge in dialogue very often? We do not indulge in dialogue very often, because we are most of the time 
preoccupied. So, what is needed? What is needed is active and empathic listening and appreciative mindset. As a scholar or a researcher or at times as a student, we are required to critique some research output like journal articles or projects. We need to remember that critiquing is not only about finding faults and limitation, it is pointing out what is good in something on which more interesting and value adding things or concepts can be built. That is called appreciative mindset of this scholarship. Thank you.